zit in een pickle, tenminste dit is, speelt zich af in het verleden, want ze denken dat Ernest iets gestolen heeft, maar Ernest heeft niks gestolen, want we kennen Ernest, Ernest steelt niet zomaar dingen. Dus uh, we gaan nu zien hoe Casriel dat ooit heeft uh, bewezen, dat hij het niet heeft gedaan. Aha, well this brings back man memories. Oh sorry, oh yes, I'm fine. It's one of the top two in London. Well, it certainly looks the part. The buildings have a uh, particular character about them. Ja, had de uh, uh, professor later in Neo een study hier in uh, in Gresham Heller? Volgens mij wel. Relax. He looks like he's busy investigating at the moment. In fact, why don't we ask him how his inquiries are coming along? Oh, I hope they've found something that proves I couldn't have done it. Hello, hello, hello! If that isn't the very uh, fellow who Inspector Hastings brought to a question him before. You were discharged, lad. Uh, what are you doing here? Thought better of it and come to confess, have you? No, definitely not. I didn't do it. I'm rather intrigued by the case, constable. I hear some research papers were stolen. Is that right? No money, no other valuables. Were uh, documents worth anything per se? Well, they happen to have been very important research papers of Dr. Gene Ohm. And who is Dr. Gene Ohm? Oh, I can fill you in on that front, miss. He is one of the most influential uh, researchers in the field of plant genetics. Okay. He has published countless revolutionary papers on the subject. He's actually the reason I enrolled here. Okay. I've wanted to study under him for years now. Oh really? And your first day you managed to be accused of stealing his work? Well, yes, somehow I did. Apparently the results of Dr. Ohm's current research has been heavily anticipated by boffins all over the world for some time. So we believe, madam, that it most likely is worth a bob or two. I see, it's cutting edge research, is it? The sort of scientific discovery that money can't buy. Is that the idea? Precisely, madam. Okay. Well, Ernest, it looks like the police are well underway with their investigation. So there's not a moment to lose. Why not, miss? Because we want to prove your innocence before they do. Or don't. Uh, it's no fun if we don't beat them to it. <laughs> So Miss Leyden started investigating the case in order for us to prove my innocence. Hey, a rose. then Ernest we've established you entered the university grounds then what is this strictly necessary I mean uh, are my movements in the lead up to the theft really important wouldn't it be better to go straight to the scene of the crime investigate there first no I have a feeling that understanding your movements is the way to go is is there anything more than it than a feeling miss don't worry Ernest trust your instincts or more precisely trust mine Alright, I will. I'm sure your instincts won't let me down. Ah, thank you. So then, what did you do next? Oh, uh, wait a minute, I've just spotted another policeman over there. You mean that man? Yes, that's him. This is one of Inspector Hastings' men. Really? So he's a detective, is he? Yes, DC Booker, I think is his name. Uh, let's hope he doesn't book you then. Good day to you, detective. 
Hello, wait, don't you know, I don't I know you young man, let me see, yes, yes, you fit the description here in my notes perfectly, Ernest Greaves I believe, and you are, where is it now, the prime sub suspect? No, I mean, I am Ernest Greaves, but I was uh, released earlier due to lack of evidence. Oh yes, it does mention that here actually. Never go anywhere without my notebook, yeah, that was all that, look. Okay, what do we believe? We believe it might be the case of a rival academic trying to discredit the professor. Boy, you? That's not handy. You're still in my notebook. You're still a suspect. Oh, I see. Yes, a world famous professor would inevitably have rivals in his field, I suppose. So let's carry on tracing your movements, Ernest. Did you enter the building next? No, no, I didn't do that. Really? You didn't go to the main building, even on your first day? No, you see, when I come this far, I suddenly caught a wonderful floral whiff and wandered off in search of the flowers that made it. You let the smell of flower divert your attention, you mean? Yes, that's right, I just popped over to that flower bed over there and have a little look. Well, if we're following your footsteps, it looks like we better pop over to it again. Oh. Rivals in the same field. Hamultawa. Oh, Flinders. So this is where the scent led you to? They are beautiful flowers, aren't they? And rather, it's a marvelous display, isn't it? Such a lot of different varieties of rose. Yes, so after you came here, the flower bed, then what? Well, I stood and admired the flowers for a little while. All right, then, uh, I'll just stand and admire the flowers for a little while too. Oh yes, I see, you're really trying to uh, get inside my head, aren't you? Become the suspect, as it were. So you can see how I prove my innocence. Not really, I just like flowers. But... Well, I think we should investigate the area while we're here. That way we can enjoy the flowers a little bit longer. Hey, a muncher. Ooh, a bushel in the blue, This is a rather f a rare variety, actually. It's real pick to grow. Oh, you know about flowers, do you? Uh, is that your field? No, it's just a hobby of mine, really. Actually, I know a rather fun puzzle about flowers. Do you know it? Not yet, but I will. Flower power. Some mysterious flowers are growing with Petals that change color when you touch them. That's best wel handig. Of handig. Het kan best mooi zijn, denk ik. Each flower has five petals, and any petals that are connected by a stand are the same color. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, each flower needs to have five different colors, uh, not including white. Okay. Touch the pedal um, to cycle through the uh, different colors. Okay. Heb ik ergens al een petal? Nee, nee, dat is nog niet. Oké. Okay. Stel dit is rood, dan wordt dat ook rood. Dat gaat vanzelf. Dat is wel handig. Dit kan tot nu toe nog. Nee, dat kan niet, want dan moet dit paars worden. Dus dit moet paars worden. Dan moet dit groen worden. Dan moet dit ook groen worden. Maar dan kan dit weer niet groen zijn. Oh, 
Okay, try again. Stel, dit wordt groen. Dan zou dit paars moeten worden, maar dat kan niet. Oké, okay, we hebben iets gevonden. Dit kan niet, dus dit moet groen zijn. Dit moet, dus dan moet dit paars zijn. Dus dit weten we zeker nu dat dit klopt. Dat is goed om te weten. Dan kunnen we hier kijken. Kijk, we hebben hier groen. Die zou hier nog kunnen. En blauw ook. Die zou hier ook nog kunnen. Dus dat is wel lastig. Nee, want hier kan allebei groen. Dus dit moet groen zijn. Oké, okay, goed. Dus dit klopt ook nog steeds. Nou, dit kan geen blauw zijn. Want hier zit al blauw. Dus dit moet blauw zijn. Dan moet dit rood zijn. En dat betekent dat dit weer paars is. Dus dat klopt ook nog. Geel. Oh. Rood. Groen. Zo klopt die als het goed is. Ik ben een pants. Een smarty pants. Nou, dat was wel een interessante puzzel. Ik hoop dat jullie een beetje goed konden zien op het kleine scherm. Ik was vergeten om op te draaien. Uh, that's spot on, Miss Layton. Ja, zeker. I have a knack for puzzles. Anyway, really spectacular roses, aren't they? Definitely, you don't often see such a beautiful display. Someone has obviously worked very hard indeed to nurse them. Okay. That's fine. Oh. Dat had ik eigenlijk niet verwacht. Stunning roses. Wat heeft dat te maken met ons... Uh... Case. The roses in the beds of the Grassland and Heller campus are magnificent and their scent distracted fresher earners from entering the faculty building. Okay. Ah, that's presumably one of my fellow students over there. Hmm, he seems to be muttering to himself about something. Oh, how did I mess up so badly? Three out of ten? Nah, what a rubbish score. Um, still, no one needs to know, and no one will. Not the way I disposed of my answer sheet. Okay. He's sighing constantly. I wonder what the problem is. Yes, I wonder. So, we've enjoyed some pretty flowers. Take it. Let's get back to uh, retracing your steps. After the scent had drawn you uh, here, you'd gaze at the flowers for a while. What did you do next? Oh well, you see, I went a bit closer to the flowers and... Yes, you went a little closer, like this. Careful, miss. Sorry, don't step closer. A goat poo? What? Nearly trod in it. Yes, I did tread in it earlier. Oh no, yes. You're unlucky, are you? Yeah. What is this goat poo doing here anyway? Well, you see, they keep goats here on the campus. There are little goats shed um, just a bit further on. You know your way around very well for someone on their first day. That's because after the I trod in the poo, I went looking for somewhere to uh, where to wash my shoe. I came across the goat shed then, you see? Ah, oh, so that's where you get ne uh, went next, is it? You really were determined not actually go into the faculty building, weren't you? Yeah, I'm a bad student. Well, come along then. Now I go chat. Wij gaan lekker naar de go chat. Dat doen wij gewoon. Here we are, miss. This is the goat chat. Oh, yes, they really have uh, goats. Yeah, that side net. Ah, listen to them bleeding. They're adorable. Belay. Oh, hello. You are the um, fresher with the pooey shoe, aren't you? Did you manage to get it clean? Yes, thank you. You saved me a lot of embarrassment by letting me wash it here be off before. Hello, I'm Catriel. You are you uh, responsible of looking after goats? Oh, hi there. I'm Billy. Yes, that's right. I mean, I'm a student at the university, but these goats are part of my studies. I'm researching goat behavior, you see? 
Ah, oh, so that's why you have goats on the campus. It feels like more London Zoo than London University just here, doesn't it? Uh, it's really great actually. You're welcome to hang around for a while, if you like. Okay, it's really good way to wind down. There's something therapeutic, therapeutic about watching the animals going about their business, are in, isn't there? Is it so? Okay. What are we doing? We're supposed to be investigating the case! Gosh, yes, I forgot all about it! You've been leading me up to the garden path since we got here, Ernest. Um, if only we had someone or something to take the lead and stop us going astray. Well, surely we can manage. Hey, and a cat. Look at this one, Miss Layton. It's such a sweetie. Oh, watch him. He'll eat absolutely anything he will. Really? Yikes, he looked like he was just about to nibble one finger. Oh, I don't think he'd uh, go for human flesh, don't worry. But uh, you'll have the morning paper out your hand if you uh, let him too close. Okay. He eats paper. Hij heeft zo de raam stond open en hij heeft sowieso de papieren opgegeten. Oh. En ik denk oprecht dat dat het is. It looks like a lot of work caring for these goats. Yes, well, any living thing takes a lot of looking after. Oh, there uh, was a tricky situation while I was a, a, a while ago as well. Oh, that is well heel very ship. What was there on the hand? The goat divide. Okay. As you can see in the picture, there is a 3x4 grid inside the fence. Okay. Each square within the grid can use one fence per side. What's the least amount of fences required to separate the goats from each other? The goats can go uh, anywhere, but there, there can not be more than one goat per square. And there are five geiten? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 You want to use as few fences as possible, so you need to make good use of the exterior fence. Zou dat werken? 3, 3, dan oh, wacht, dan is het 3, 3, 2, 2, denk ik dan. Dan zou het 10 zijn? I have a feeling that perhaps. Dat klopt niet, meneer. The use of the fuels will be very useful. You need to define the area to both small place, place. Yeah, that that that's not big. The object here is separate each goat from the others. Not. Nine. So. Dan heb je vier stukken en dan iemand buiten de fences. 
if you'll entertain my idea here. Miss Leighton would never have got that wrong. Okay. Is there not a goat but the defense we try? If you'll entertain my idea here, you stay me. I don't cut the mustard at all, do I? Leave one goat outside the fence. That's what I've bedacht. Then separate the remaining four goats so they each in their own enclosure. Use the left or right of the large enclosure. Ah, five. Oh. Molly. I have a feeling that perhaps. I was not I was not makkelijk, laat ik het zo zeggen. Thank goodness I got that right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yup, that's how you resolve it. Nice. Ja, we hoeven niet per se meer over geiten te weten, dat is niet per se interessant. Go to eat paper. Denk ik. Good shit, keep for research purpose, but uh, good and for love the students and professor alike often come to spend time watching the animals. Yeah, sowieso die geit heeft sowieso papier opgegeten. After that, uh, yes, that's right, the cat, the cat, first a goat and then a cat. Yes, um, I was about to uh, head back uh, to the faculty building and then a cat jumped out across my path. Gosh, well, I okay. So did this cat chase take you? Actually, I ran. It, it, I it ran backwards to the road, back towards the roses. So I followed it there. All right then, let's go back to the flower bed where we were before. Let's go. One of these days, we might actually get to the scene of the crime. We wait. But in fact, an unforeseen turn of events was soon to lead us to the crime scene. En dat zien wij de volgende aflevering. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie ik je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.